Shout out to all the people that be supporting STD Friday. I appreciate y'all for keeping this trend going. STD Friday, for those of you who may not know, in case you're new around here, I'm Willie Williams. Um, please remember, go to the WillieWilliamsShow.com. Check out a few things. If you'd like to see what we call event videos, the things that we cannot put up on YouTube, please go to the Patreon, the Willie Williams Show. STD Friday is, 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 is a concept. It's a thought that I came up with. To where um, on that one day you can start following other people's morals and belief systems and the way that you've been raised and telling you what not to do and all that you can live your best life. Like I, 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 like I say, you ain't really lived until you got an STD. I mean, I don't, I don't, you ain't really jumped off the edge. You know what I'm saying? You got to live your life. You got to put your life in danger sometimes. That way you can feel like you're living. Because a lot of people, they go through life and they really be dead. They living, but they be dead. It's like the walking dead. You know what I'm saying? And you really got to live your best you like who like you. This is not about your significant other. It, 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 this is not about the people that you in love with, all that stupid shit. It, the people that you done got a hold of matrimony with, my condolences to you. You know what I'm saying? You can just look at people, like them, and say, you know what? We're going to go ahead on and do this thing. You ain't got to wash that monkey. You ain't got to wash that meat. No, none of that. You can go through all day pissing the shit and doing exactly what you want to do um, and enjoying your life. Spread that shit. <sighs> Come on now. We got medication for everything. Don't be scared no more. Damn it, it's 2020. And we're going to do exactly what we want to do. So that's why SCD Friday is so significant out here on earth. But I had to saw a video and I said, well, you know what? This could be a representation of STD Friday. Let me go ahead on and show you what I'm talking about right here. I, I thought it was rather funny. I like it. Here we go. Uh, I'm on my way to the hospital because you won't believe. I got cramps. I got claps and I got a few hugs. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I like it. Let's do it again. Uh, I'm on my way to the hospital because you won't believe. I got cramps. I got claps and I got a few hugs. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I like her. I like her. See, because they got a, a sense of humor. And like I tell people, listen, STD Friday is only on Fridays. We do not protect ourselves. We do, do, do none of that there. Do not take your, the shit as a felony. Yeah, it's need to be locked up, signed to a resort, take a little Instagram um, post for everybody. That's what happens on Fridays, but Saturday through Thursday. You protect yourself at all costs. You wear your rubbers, your, I mean, your dental dam and all that shit in case you like to do a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But, 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 but Saturday morning. See, because the emergency room is over 24 hours. And if you get yours in on STD Friday, it'll start setting in probably around by 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning on Saturdays. You go down there to the emergency room. You go on and get that medication. And like I tell y'all, when y'all get your medication, don't take all the medication. What well, they going to tell you? They take it until the bottle. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You got to save some shit just in case they ever close the hospital on Saturday and you need to go on and handle your business. But um, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. That's big ass crap. <laughs> What's up, sugar? Where you at? You know what I'm saying? But 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 I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking now. I don't know, stud butch. Mm -hmm. But why be so many cute? I don't, I don't, I don't. Why so many cute studs, um, boy, girl boys? Why why why? Shouldn't it be like ugly ass studs or something to where we, us males, don't feel like y'all taking out women? You know what I'm saying? Why y'all got to leave us with the ugly bitches? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't. I don't think that that's fair. I don't think that that's fair and that's some, kind, that's some type of ism. Mm -mm. I'm going to come up with something. It's not racism. It's not classism. It's not colorism. It, 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 it's a, it, it's an ugly bitchism. Mm -mm. But she cute, though. And I like when they be wearing them bikers. Look, 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 watch them. Uh, I'm on my way to the hospital because you won't. I'm trying to take, boy, to sit them nine, nine, you know what I'm saying? But she probably got scrap on and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, 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 oh, oh, oh. Shout out to all the studs and the, and the, and the, and the, and the butchers because I came up back in the day and shit where um, they was also called bulldogs. You know what I'm saying? 
But shout out to the ones who be getting pregnant by their homeboys, you know what I'm saying, and shit. And they be posting pictures and stuff and talking about my partner got me pregnant, my partner done knocked me up, my partner done um, peed in me and shit. You know what I'm saying? And shout y'all out because y'all do keep that monkey tight. I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> Fuck me having grip. I'm just throwing something out there. It, it, it's, it's experience, but um, I like it. Look, look, look. Believe. I got now that's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. Don't be afraid to share with the people the SCD that you have done contracted, and then she told you who gave it to her. That's what that's what I'm talking about. We got to be free as a people. You not free until you don't contract the STD. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Some look at you. Mm-mm. Your morals say, uh, uh-uh, uh, that nasty, that nasty. Wait, 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 what? But you eating ass. You're, we doing all types of shit out here. They got their street. Listen, we got pills for everything. I know you worry about, but what if I catch AIDS or, H- um, AIDS or HIV? HIV? We got shit that make it disappear. Listen, they can't even find the shit in the test. So it's technically you ain't got it as long as you still taking the pill. You know what I'm saying? So don't be afraid to go out on the smash who you want to smash. And this is not a slight to anybody that's in relationships or in holy matrimony. My condolences. I will say it again. Um, it ain't got nothing to do with them. It got something to do with you living your best life. Because once you die, you dead. Then you're going to be dead regretting shit that you should have did when you was alive. But you can't. Mama, them told you don't be no hoe. Dad, them told you don't don't be no hoe. You get you with one dingaling and all that shit. There, and that's the best that you are gonna do with your whole goddamn life. When they tried that stupid shit, and you see how their life turned out miserable, cause they only got one. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them had more than one. They're just not telling you. <laughs> that's what's up. So do you? Live, be the best you be who you want to be because that's society that we is living in now we don't have those restraints no more on us as fellas and as babies out in the community i like a go to... cramps that thing moist too just tight down a vice grip out there because she um uh, um fem um not not fem stud butts bull that what cute though just saying cute though. i got claps and i got a few now i'm not sure if she is butch or stuff but presentation in my mind what i say in the street that's what she look and it's cool it's cool uh, bye, y'all. <laughs> maybe that's the fam on the passenger side and she is like the male role model in of the relationship I ain't tripping but it's always the cute one look at that smile you can't beat that smile no goddamn well and they be getting all the bitches that's what these players be out here mad about and these hoes need to stop being in the strip club getting all the bitches see when i was coming up we did like strip club thing i always used to like get paid to go inside the strip clubs and i know how a lot of y'all thinking how the fuck did you get paid going in the strip club because it's a thing of you give you receive you, you give a little you get a lot back because that's what a true player do you know what i'm saying but back then players was making a stink that 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 um the bull daggers the butchers and the studs will come inside the strip clubs and be taking the cooter the monkey away from the players and i just want to say you gotta get your game tight pimp there's always competition out here you can't be mad at them bras out there trying to do exactly what they supposed to be doing with the lifestyle that they want to live you gotta get your game up just saying, don't be crying. See, cause that ain't what true players do. We like the competition. It's nothing. I'ma just need for the LGBT community to take the ugly bitches. Let them join in with y'all. Just saying, don't take the cute ones. <laughs> Listen, hey boy, I appreciate y'all for rocking. I like her. I like her. She got a sense of humor. Got a sense of humor. That's a big ass crab too. Bite shit at you. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. You got to like it. You can, fuck you, mad for that one. Yo, crap. Appreciate y'all for rocking. I'm out.